Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can resize an oddly shaped piece of artwork onto a standard print or frame size using Corel Painter. That's coming up next. The painting I'll use to demonstrate on is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And so that means it fits really well on screens, but not so much on standard prints and frames. So if I go to Canvas Resize, we can see that the pixel dimensions are 5,100 pixels wide by 3,000 pixels tall. And if we switch this from pixels to inches, we can see that we can print it out at 34 by 20 at 150 for the resolution. But you might find that since that's not a very common print size that it's hard to order prints in that size. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to crop off one of the sides. We wanna make sure that we crop off the longest side because that'll do the least amount of damage to our piece and we'll be able to maintain as much quality as possible. So in this case, the shortest side is the height, which is limited to 20 inches. We don't wanna make the image larger because that's going to not look very good, although sometimes you can get away with that. What we wanna do is we wanna make the image smaller, go down to the next smallest standard print size. And so for this piece, that would be 24 by 18 inches. That smallest number 20 would be going down to 18. So we'll need to modify the dimensions to a standard print or frame size. Now I'll show you why you don't want to modify the long side. If we modify the long side to the next closest print size, which is 18 by 24, and we change that to 24, you can see that it changes the height to 14 and then some. And even if we shave that off to 14, 24 by 14 is not a standard print size, so it doesn't do us any good to do that. Plus it's cropping off a lot more inches than is necessary. So it's better to alter or crop the longest side. Another consideration is the resolution in the image. Resolution controls the detail per inch of artwork. If the inches are reduced, then resolution can be reallocated rather than just discarded. Or in other words, we wanna keep the pixel count of our new image pretty close to that of our original image. So the easiest way to do all this is just to create a new canvas and make that the size of the print that you wanna create. So I'll go ahead and set my resolution first to 150. I'll just match the resolution of my original, and then I'll set my inches to whatever I want them to be. I'll choose 24 by 18. And if we wanna know how many pixels that is, we can change it to pixels. We can see it's 3600 by 2700, so it doesn't quite match our original pixel count. We can increase the resolution and that'll increase the amount of pixels. However, if you increase the resolution while you're in pixel mode, nothing happens. We need to go back to inches, set the resolution first, and then set our desired inches, 18 by 24. And now we will be adding pixels. So if we switch back to pixels again, we can see those added pixels. Now it's 3840 by 2880. So we added 10 pixels per inch. And that's a lot closer to our original pixel dimensions. So if we create that canvas, then we have a canvas that is a standard print size without too much cropping, and the resolution is optimized. To bring in my artwork, I'm gonna to go to File Place. I'll select my original artwork, and I'll go to Open. If there's a mismatch in color profiles, just choose the color profile from your original artwork. And then I'll go ahead and just click to place. I'll go ahead and move the top left corner to the top left of the canvas. And then I can drag these little squares to stretch it. I wanna stretch it so it fills the canvas. Now generally it's not good to stretch your artwork if it's scaling up or getting larger, but if it's scaling down or shrinking, then that's okay. Also I should mention that it's okay to stretch this image because there's nothing in it that would be noticeably distorted, such as faces or anything that's circular. If you have an image that has circles or faces or anything that you don't want to get distorted, then unfortunately you're not gonna be able to stretch it. You're gonna to have to crop your image, or you can use a technique that I'll link to in the description of this video that will help you expand the background to fill the extra space. So the reason why this works is because the smallest side of the new canvas is the same as the smallest side of the original canvas, and only the long side is being reduced. No sides are being enlarged. If you look at it up close, everything should look fine. You wanna make sure that you only stretch or transform this once because multiple transformations, making it bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller could degrade the quality of the image. So it's better to do an undo and just replace the image. So now let's go ahead and evaluate our results by going to canvas resize and we can check out the dimensions. It's 3840 by 2880. And if we change it to inches, it's 24 by 18 at 160 for the resolution. So that's all good. Now if we go to open and we compare that to our original and we go to canvas resize, we can see the original dimensions were 5,100 pixels by 3,000 pixels. And if we go back to our resized image, 3840 by 2880 is actually very close to our original pixel dimensions. 
and it also matches up with a standard print and frame size of 18 by 24. Increasing the resolution on the modified version to 160 from 150 added 10 pixels of resolution per inch, compared to if we had left the resolution at 150, we would have been throwing away 10 pixels per inch of resolution that we could have reallocated somewhere else. So overall, this change in resolution is a minor difference, but if you look near the edges of the circle, you can see that they are a bit smoother and a tiny bit less jagged when we use 160 PPI versus 150. So it does make a difference, it's just subtle. So the point here is that if you're making the inches smaller in your painting, then it's very likely that there's some resolution that could either get thrown away or added back into the painting. And so of course you wanna make sure that you keep all that detail. Now I know I said you should try to get the pixel count as close as you can to the original, but really at a certain point, it isn't gonna matter a whole lot if it's a difference of under 10 pixels or so. So for example, the original pixel count here was 3000 for the height, and I went ahead and went with 2880. I could have used maximum optimization and gone for 3000, but that would take a little bit more work and it really wouldn't make that much of a difference as far as the quality in the image. If you're concerned about getting every single pixel and you wanna know the exact resolution to use, you can use Constrain File Size in the Resize menu. Go ahead and check that and then change the dimensions. Let's say 18 like we did before. That's gonna automatically change the width and it also changes the resolution to 166.7. Although I don't know that it's good to have decimal points in your resolution usually you wanna use a nice rounded resolution for printing. So you could go with 166, or you could go with 162, or you could go with 160. It really isn't gonna make that much of a difference. Now, if all of this talk of resolution and pixels is a little confusing, I have a video that I'll link to in the description of this video that explains canvas size and resolution in more detail. So let's go ahead and save this resized copy by going to File, Save As. And we'll just save this as a master copy. I'll save this as a RIF and call it 24 by 18 so that we know which version it is and we don't save over our original. And then I'll go ahead and save another copy by going to File, Save As. And this will be the copy that we can print because typically you need to print from either a TIFF, a PNG, or a JPEG. TIFF and PNG are preferable. TIFF will be the best quality. And now we have a file that we can print. So there you go. That's how you can optimize your digital artwork to fit a standard print or frame size. This video was made possible by one of my patrons who supports my channel at patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten. Thanks Bernard for the video idea. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more Corella Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.